January is Cervical Cancer Month, and there may be no more significant place to raise awareness than here in Baltimore, where one woman's battle with the disease affected millions of lives. WJZ's Live Pat Warren reports on a seminar in Turner Station. Pat? That's right, Denise. Of course, many of us know Henrietta Lacks was a cervical cancer patient at Johns Hopkins in the 50s, whose cell line has led to major medical breakthroughs. The focus is on healing. It's it's very important to me because my mother gave her light in uh, the cancer, and so I am trying to help find a cure for it. His mother's story is the inspiration of a best-selling book and a movie, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. Film producer Oprah Winfrey, cast as Henrietta's sister, talked exclusively to WJZ during filming in Baltimore last fall. From the first time I read the book, I knew that, or certainly felt that it was a story that needed to be shared with the world. And share a message. Be proactive about your own health. The Henrietta Lacks House of Healing held an informational seminar this weekend in Turner Station. We're here at Turner Station, and, and apparently there are a lot of health issues here, environmental as well as genetic. In the course of her treatment, researchers obtained cells that live on today as HeLa, the most medically relevant genetic breakthrough in history. And the story all started right here in, in Baltimore actually makes it, gives it that much more meaning, but it would have meaning no matter where she was born or where she lived, but the fact that it all started right here at Hopkins is really uh, pretty profound. HeLa cells laid the foundation for modern medicine. Her family intends to build on it. If we enlighten people on cervical cancer and other kinds of cancer, then we can make a dent in cancer. And ultimately find a cure. A portrait of Henrietta Lacks was recently dedicated for display in Baltimore City Hall. I'm Pat Warren reporting live now back to you, Denise. Thank you, Pat. The Henrietta Lacks movie is expected to be released this year.